What is up everyone, this is MoGaming here and today I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox One controller or your Xbox X, S, whatever controller you want to call it, to the Steam Deck. So right now I have the Steam Deck connected to my monitor, so you can see over here, so this is not Steam itself, this is the Steam Deck connected, just so you guys are aware. And um, I'm going to show you how to essentially connect it, so you can play it either, you can either directly connect it to the Steam, well this is technically connected to the Steam Deck, or you can connect it to this wave so you can play it on a tv or a monitor so i would assume that's the that would be one of the places or items or times why you would want to connect it to a monitor right so the way this works is once you have your steam either on a monitor tv or whatever like i said connect it from here uh, directly to the steam deck you want to go over to settings and in settings you want to go over to something called bluetooth so in here you're going to see like a bunch of like people have like bluetooth devices and you can see i initially in the past did pair uh this controller just to give you perspective but the way you want to pair it is you want to essentially turn on for the control i believe you can either just hold the place uh the xbox button until the pair sections pops up so let's just hold into it i think it's either holding this and let's confirm Oh, no, apologies. You turn it on and you press this button. So until so you're going to see over here and boom, I am now paired. Regardless, you're going to turn it on. You're going to hold on to this button and the pair menu is going to pop up like you see over here. And then you're going to see the section over there is going to say available to pair. It's going to essentially pop up. But as you can see, my controller is already paired into that. So I don't really need to do anything from that perspective. So let's go back here. You're going to see I have the controller paired. I can disconnect it or I can forget it. So let's just forget it to give you guys a better perspective on what ends up happening. So let's just say I did, I say forget it. So right now my controller is spinning into the pair section. So we're going <coughs> to boom. And you can see my Xbox controller is back again to be paired. So we're going to press A, just putting it right in front of you. We're going to do the pair and voila. My controller is now paired and you can see it all works beautifully well now now I, I'm, my controller is paired into steam like i said it's technically paired into the steam deck itself not a monitor i'm just showing you from a monitor's perspective so you can easily play games from here now so if you have a steam deck you connected it to the monitor and you want to now play it wirelessly like a normal game right like a console game voila you now have it you can play whatever game you want you can do you can play with the controller layouts as well if you want to on the controller section you can change the design layout on how you'd want it but that's that's your p p preference and choice it even says xbox x controller is connected and it tells me like i can use the nintendo layout i can do other layouts as well if i wanted to but yeah that's basically it uh if you guys still have any comments questions or concerns, let me know in the comment section below more than happy guys up if you guys over like the video please smash that like button also guys are new to channel make sure to hit that notification bell on that mo gaming out peace